A Boeing spacecraft with a crew of two is expected to dock with the International Space Station later today. The Starliner capsule, which launched from Florida on Wednesday, could join SpaceX as one of NASA's private contractors to take astronauts into space. The mission has been delayed for several years because of setbacks in the development of the spacecraft, as our science correspondent Palab Ghosh reports. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft makes it up into the sky and on its way to the International Space Station. Looking good with speeds and attitude increasing as expected. On board, two of NASA's most experienced astronauts on the spacecraft's first test flight with a crew. You got a good throttle up. A view from the rocket, and we see one of the solid rocket boosters fall away. The solid rocket boosters have now been jettisoned after seeing Starliner through its first 90 seconds of flight. And then the main engine separates. The spacecraft now safely in orbit. Of course, you're seeing lots of uh, happy faces and cheers here in Florida. It was third time the lucky Starliner for the launch, aborted twice in the past four weeks because of technical issues with the rocket. And this test flight has been delayed by almost a decade because of other technical problems in Starliner's development. So in the post-launch debrief, the man in charge of the mission at Boeing said today's success came as a relief. Um, you know, a lot of people say I need to smile more, and I'm smiling, believe me. <laughs> uh, but it's a little bit of controlled emotion because there's a lot of phases of this mission, and we just completed the first one. You know, pre-launch and, uh, and launch is, is just the first part of this. We now have to get to ISS. We have to dock. We have to do docking ops. We have to undock. We have to do re-entry, and we have to land. Starliner is a brand-new spacecraft that sits on top of the rocket. And this is its first test flight with a crew on board. It's been built to transport crew and cargo to and from the International Space Station. It'll take around a day to get there and the mission will last just over a week. And when it gets back to Earth, it'll be with a bump in what's going to be the first hard capsule landing for a US mission. Along with SpaceX, there'll now be two private sector firms taking astronauts to the space station, if Boeing's test flight goes well. Having competition um, with two providers, providing NASA with a way to and from the space station, should bring down costs. And that's really important for NASA and other space agencies like the European Space Agency and indeed the UK Space Agency. Because we're spending taxpayers' money on these flights to get our astronauts to the space station and we want to get the best value for money. But regular missions to the space station will depend on there being no further serious technical issues. With so much at stake, it'll be a big week for Boeing. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.